scheduled to resume practice today under certain conditions. We'll talk about that on today's show, plus our weekly farm report. And we'll go back to the beginning of the Islanders for our Islanders birthday of the day. All that and more coming up on today's episode of the Locked On Islanders podcast. Your Locked On Islanders, your daily podcast on the New York Islanders. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, everybody, welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Locked On Islanders podcast. So glad you could join us today, and thank you for making Locked On Islanders your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms, and I'll tell you, uh, it's great to be here. Hopefully, we're getting uh, Islanders hockey back very, very soon, and I am certainly looking forward to that. Today's episode is brought to you by Primal Origin Oils. Got beard? Get Primal. Stop the itch and make your beard look healthy and groomed. Check out PrimalOriginsOils.com to learn more about their full line of beard care products. Use the code LOCKEDON for a 20% discount at checkout. So today, lots to discuss. We believe that the Islanders will be resuming practice today. There are conditions. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, We'll also take a look at some of the players the Islanders called up uh, when COVID hit and injuries hit, and who among those players might just deserve to stay around a little bit longer, even when some players return to the lineup. And we have our weekly farm report, which – basically looks at everything happening around the Bridgeport Islanders. So lots to discuss on today's show. If you've got something Islanders related on your mind, if you have a question, a comment, a topic that you'd like us to discuss, feel free to send us an email. The email address is lockedonislanders at gmail.com. And if you leave your first name and where you're from, we are happy to mention you on the show when we talk about whatever it is that's on your mind. You could also follow the show on Twitter at Ice Wars NYR, no, excuse me, at Locked on Isles. And you could follow me, Gil Martin, on Twitter at Ice Wars NYR VS NYI. We'll keep you up to date on all the latest Islanders news notes and happenings. And we will also uh, live tweet. I am live tweeting at the Ice Wars NYR versus NYI handle, live tweeting during almost every Islanders home and road game. So make sure you do join us for that. It's always great to interact with listeners and fans during games and really anytime. So please feel free to just uh, send me a little note. Let's get started with this hockey team right now. Looks like the Islanders are going to be back at practice today. Well, this afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, if they get all negative COVID tests for the players and staff in the morning. So tests Wednesday morning. And if the players who are not presently on the COVID list test negative, the Islanders will be cleared to practice. And then I assume that means that the game will be played on Thursday. And hopefully when the Sharks come to town, we will have a full preview of that game uh, on tomorrow's show. But uh, by then, of course, we will know what the situation is with regard to those tests. And uh, fingers crossed, because I really do want this team to to get back onto the ice. They needed this break. They really needed to do it a few games earlier. But right now, you don't want to fall too far behind and and have, you know, we already have a compressed schedule because of the Olympics, compressing it even more, probably not the best thing for this Islanders team. I'll be honest with where it is, but hopefully. Uh, 
back on the ice and practicing later today. What about slips that made an act? Even one forward who I particularly sing out, not that these players, the rest of them, things. But the three that I think are candidates to panic of chasing being a guy who wanted to show uh, how hard working he was and how ready he was and that he could still contribute to an NHL with all of the uh, just, I mean, a lot of reasons to say that there is room for panic uh, or panic to stay with the team and play a few more game ability to move the puck and uh, try to generate some plays. As for the two defensemen, Robin, a defensive prospect in Bridge, at least. And yeah, there's some bump on the road for solid young defensemen usually take longer to develop than young forward. Uh, he was paired at Mayfield, and that did pretty, you know, pretty good combination. And I think that, again, the Islanders need need more puck-moving defensemen. Dobson is the only one on the top six roster to me. Sallow uh, would be a great for the roster. Keep him up. Uh, here's what Barry tried to say. Uh, after his NHL debut, he handles the puck really well. So on the power play, he's got a lot of deception, but I love the fact that it opens up some Yeah, there's going to be some. Rookie misstatement time in defenseman. It's either going to be Sallow, Christian, a sort of confidence as well, moving the puck, shooting more, getting out there, even though he doesn't have a lot of. So to me, one of them over the long haul. And you look we, now. That Ryan Pulak is out, out Adam Pell out, uh, Zidane Talk is on the COVID list. Also, so to me, you have Sallow and Ah uh, guys a little bit, but uh, I would keep one of those two younger puck. They have replaced Nick Letty out, unless they get one of them from either Sal or Aho. Uh, uh, because it has to be. You can't have that moving, non-offensive mind a defense where five out of your six just really are not that kind of player. I am hoping that they find room for those two defensemen, plus Richard Panik, uh, and we'll see what happens at a year. We have got more to discuss on this episode of the Locked On Islanders Port as we look at all things Bridgeport. And our Islanders' birthday of the day goes back to the early Islanders franchise. So more to right here on the Locked On Islanders Get Primal. You heard me right. Got beard? Get Primal. If you or somebody you care about has a beard, it needs to get Primal. Maybe you're that guy who's never considered the benefits of treating your beard with product. 
Primal Origin Oils will stop the itch and make your beard look healthy and groomed. Their goal is to help others look good and live healthier lives through the use of natural oils. The products are free from harmful synthetic ingredients and they have low impact on our planet. Primal Origin makes bombs, oils, and whipped butter that are renowned as the best feel in beard products available. This is due to the exotic carrier blend with oils like raspberry seed, rosehip, and chia seed oil. All products are fair trade certified and handcrafted in the USA. Check out PrimalOriginOils.com to learn more about their full line of beard care products. Use the code Locked On for a 20% discount at checkout. The combo kits make a great holiday gift, and if you're shopping for yourself, you'll be glad you did. Not only are all the products and dedicate, not only are the products and dedication to quality top notch. The company was founded for a noble cause. The founder Stephen's mother was injured in a car accident, and the company was started to pay for her recovery and treatment. Most companies focus on fragrance first, and that leads to a product that does not feel good on the skin. We took a step back and focused on the ingredients first to ensure a product that feels great and still smells fantastic. We know that every company claims to have the best, but Primal Origin Oils challenges you to compare their ingredients and feel in beard to the other companies you've used. We promise you will see and feel the difference. Remember the code locked on gets you 20% off at primaloriginoils.com. Use the code locked on for at checkout for 20% off Primal Origin Oils. Com. This episode is also brought to you by your friends at Built Bar. This holiday season, grab the protein bar that tastes like a candy bar, or even better than a candy bar, that's Built Bar. It's filled with so much holiday goodness, rich with decadent flavor, covered in chocolate, but amazingly low in calories, sugar, net carbs, and fat, and high in protein. You get the best of both worlds, delicious and healthy and there are so many flavors you'll have a hard time choosing will you have raspberry or mint brownie cherry or double chocolate cookies and cream or peanut butter brownie built bar gives you that extra fuel you need to bust down those mall doors and battle all the holiday shoppers or if you're just standing in endless shopping lines built bar can give you that extra something to keep you going so throw one in your jacket or purse you never know when you're going to need it because it's the season of peace and love don't bring your don't bring up your favorite Built Bar flavor at family parties. People are so passionate about their favorite flavor, they'll fight for it and things could get out of hand. Are you friends with Santa? Well, tell Santa to throw in a few Built Bars in those stockings with so many flavors, they'll make anyone's Christmas morning a happy one. Like some of those marshmallowy treats around the holidays, you need to get your hands on Built Bar Puffs. They're light, fluffy, and marshmallowy through and through. Different flavors, all covered in chocolate. It tastes so good, you won't believe that they're filled with protein. Go to Built.com, use the promo code LOCK15, and you will get 15% off your order. That's 15% off at Built.com when you use the promo code LOCKED15. Time now for our weekly farm report. Take a look at all things Bridgeport Islanders and last end. The holiday weekend, Islanders losing two out of three games. They played Wednesday night uh, at the Springfield Thunderbirds, fell by a score of 4-1 to one in that one, and it wasn't really uh, an easy game. All four goals uh, given up came in the second period. Corey Schneider played in goal, and you think, oh, he gave up four goals, probably didn't play well. No, 44 saves for Schneider. And the problem is that the Islanders gave up 48 shots on goal. The 44 saves matching Schneider's career high uh, in the AHL. And again, uh, he was a little too busy in his goal. Austin Zarnick was the only goal scorer late in the game uh, to prevent the shutout. But the shots on goal tell you the whole story. Springfield 48, the Bridgeport Islanders 19. And when the shots are that one-sided, uh, not easy, needless to say, to win a lot of hockey games. Friday night uh, last weekend, the Islanders hosted the Providence Bruins. 
They fell in that game 3-2. to two. Colin Adams and Eric Brown with the goals. But, you know, again, one period, in this case, again, the second period was the problem. The Providence Bruins scored three times in the second. Adams scores in the first. Brown in the third for Bridgeport. But it wasn't enough. And the final score in that one was 3-2. to two. But finally on Saturday of last week, the Islanders get a victory. Two goals by Austin Zarnick. And uh, Paul Thompson got his first goal with Bridgeport. And the Islanders skated to a 4-1 to win at Lehigh Valley as they defeated the Lehigh Valley Phantom. One win, two loss week in the past week. Corey Schneider, 25 saves, finally getting off the schneid and getting his first win for Bridgeport. He is now 1-6 and six on the season. An empty net goal by Simon Holmstrom ended uh, a seven-game skid by Bridgeport. And again, hopefully Bridgeport can start to get back on track. It, it, it's, a, it's a problem, and it's taken them a little time. But I, I, again, I think the arrow is pointed in the right direction overall for the Bridgeport Islanders and, you know, you look at the leading scorers on this team as of right now, and Chris Terry has six goals and 15 points in 17 games. Otto Koivula, also 15 points, only three of them goals. Austin Zarnick, five goals, 12 points. Blade Jenkins has five goals uh, also. And uh, Arno Durando. Four goals, 12 points. Simon Holmstrom, 12 points and three goals. And then, you know, Andy Andreoff, who's been up with the Islanders lately, nine points in 15 games. So those are the leading scorers right now for uh, Bridgeport. And, you know, you also have to look at goaltenders because right now, Jakob Skarek, He's been slumping a little bit lately. Got off to that hot start. His goals against average now a 3.07. He's 5-4-2 and two on the year. Save percentage 901. Corey Schneider getting closer to Skarek in statistics. His goals against average now at 3.19. The save percentage actually better than Skarek's. It's now 904, especially after that 44 save effort uh, last Wednesday by Corey Schneider. So, the goaltending in pretty good, good hands. Bridgeport. It'll be a busy week coming up. Two home games. One on Saturday night at 7 o'clock against the Providence Bruins. And then Sunday, the 3 o'clock matinee uh, against the Charlotte Checkers. So that one should be interesting. And it is Superhero Weekend. So uh, check that out at Webster Bank Arena as the Bridgeport Islanders uh, are playing two games this weekend and uh, should be a fun one for the kids with Superhero Weekend. Again, we do the Farm Report usually on Wednesdays and uh, we keep you up to date on the Islanders' stars of tomorrow and what they're doing today. So uh, make sure you join us for that. And anybody who has questions about what's happening down in Bridgeport, again, feel free to send them our way here at the Locked On Islanders podcast. When we come back, we have our Islanders birthday of the day and some more thoughts about the operation of practice and play, which will take place today. And uh, we'll keep you up to date on all of that via Twitter and elsewhere here at Locked On Islanders podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online has you covered all season. With more props, odds, and lines than ever before, as football season continues, their march to the playoffs. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all the sports action this season. Head to our new updated top or mobile website to sign up today, and you can receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit when you use the promo code LOCKON. So, yes, for being a listener to the Locked On Islanders podcast, betonline.ag will give you. A 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit because you listen to this podcast. From basketball, football, NHL, boxing, and UFC, right to your favorite Vegas casino games, 
Don't wait to take advantage of the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet online where the game starts. Time for our Islanders' birthday of the day. We're going to go all the way back to the Islanders' first, second seasons. And we want to wish a very happy 73rd birthday. We're going to be one day early on this one to former Islanders center Ralph Stur- the Fort William Ontario. Uh, it is NHL debut with the Vancouver Canucks in the 1970-71 season, but came to the Islanders in 72-73, their first year. Stayed with the team through the 75-76 season and then headed back to Vancouver. For his career, Ralph Stewart played in 252 games in the NHL, 57 goals, 130 points, 28 penalty minutes. He did actually play in 19 playoff games in the NHL, and all of them came with the Islanders. Four goals and eight points, 13 of those 19 coming in the Islanders' first playoff year of 1974-75. Best season with the Islanders, 374 23 goals and 43 points in 67 games. Followed that up in 74-75 with 16 goals and 40 points. We're going to look at one of his best games with the Islanders. In fact, this was his best game uh, probably of his NHL career, at least at December 22nd, 19th, at the St. Louis Arena Islanders. Taking on the Jerry Desjardins, the goalie for the Islanders, Wayne Stevenson in between the pipes for the Blues, and in the first period, just one goal. Craig Cameron of the Islanders was off for interference, and Steve Durbano, best known as an enforcer, uh, he got his fourth goal on the power play from Gary Unger, the former NHL Ironman, and Glenn Sather. Yes, that Glenn Sather. At 137, that was the only goal of the period. Islanders trailing one to nothing. But in the second, the Islanders bounce back. Just seven seconds into the second period, our Islanders' birthday of the day, Ralph Stewart, his 10th of the year, Craig Cameron with the only assist. We're all even at one apiece. Just a minute 33 after that, Ernie Hickey puts the Islanders ahead two to one. His fifth goal of the year, the captain, Ed Westfall, Dennis Potvan get the assist at 240. And the Isles have the lead. But they couldn't hold the lead. Steve Durbano in the penalty box. He got two for elbowing, a 10-minute misconduct, and a game misconduct. That was typical Steve Durbano behavior. But the Blues come up with a shorty. Chris Evans, his second from Gord Brooks at 1551, ties it at two. But in the closing seconds of the period, literally with eight seconds left in period two, Our Islanders' birthday of the day, Ralph Stewart scores his 11th. Burt Marshall and Brian Spinner Spencer are the assists. And the Islanders take a big 3-2 lead after 40 minutes. In the third, the Islanders go down a man. Jean Potvin off for hooking Ralph Stewart. Our Islanders' birthday of the day completes the hat trick with a short-handed goal. Stewart... His 12th, unassisted at 9.35. The Islanders skate away with a 4-2 win over the Blues. Jerry Desjardins, 31 saves to earn the victory. The Islanders uh, outshot 33-32 in this one, but four Ralph Stewart. Shots and bowl. This is a game where he was all the place. And just pouring on the offense, a rare win for the Islanders in the season, 4-2 to two over the St. Louis Blues, and, and the hat trick for our Islanders' birthday of the day, Ralph Stewart. We wish him all the best. And 73 on this day. Hopefully, hopefully on track, resume practicing today. Again, we'll keep you up to date via Twitter as to whether or not COVID tests are passed. But two things you got to hope for. Number one, that they do pass. 
uh, the test and resume skating and can play on Thursday. And number two, that enough players come back that they can ice a quality team. That is obviously important for the Islanders. We will be back tomorrow with a full preview of Thursday's hopeful game against the San Jose Sharks, plus the latest updates on all the injured and ill Islanders. I want to thank everyone for making Locked On Islanders your first listen every day. Now make your second listen Locked On Bets. It's your daily one-stop shop for all your gambling needs. Locked On Bets is hosted by your boy Q with expert analysis and insight from Lee Sterling. It's free and available on all platforms. That does it for this episode of the Locked On Islanders podcast. I've been meaning to say this the last couple of days and forgot, unfortunately. Happy Hanukkah to everybody who is celebrating. So I uh, want to wish everyone uh, all the best for the Festival of Lights. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. And of course, let's go Islanders.